Thank you for asking me to talk about statistical process control performance reports. For our trust, statistical process control performance reports started when NHS Improvement uh, came along to join our board to explain this methodology. That training session was delivered both to the board and to our informatics staff at the same time. That enabled us to consider very carefully how we could take that on quickly and enabled the best use of both our board and informatics staff time to develop that. We were able to have a statistical process control uh, performance report within two months and within three to five months we'd refined that and we're using that fully in place of the old RAG reports. One of the biggest advantages of statistical process control we found is that we're now able to understand where variation is normal and that results in far less knee-jerk reactions from the board to short, uh, short notice data. The addition of ICOMs enabled the board to use those ICOMs in a very clear way to understand not only that something was wrong, but what was wrong. Was something shifting up or down? Was there a trend? Was there a shift that needed to be addressed? And was the variation within its normal limits? The variation icons that we use allow the board to look down either a dashboard or reports and at a glance see exactly where they need to focus their time, their effort and their resource. Enabling the board to focus its time, effort and resource means that the right decisions are being made in a more effective way and that's resulting in patient care being improved and resources being expended in a better way.